And if you're not controlling the situation, then you got a problem with it. Every situation is not meant for you to control. It's not. And then when you can't control it, then you're frustrated. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Joy. This guy here, he looks like he works out. He probably a member at my expensive gym. Yes, I go to the expensive gym. I sure do. That's why I can't talk. I don't say I go to the gym all the time to work out. <laughs> Most cases, I go to shower. But I'm getting there. At least I'm going to the gym. But there's a guy out here begging people for money. <clears throat> I never have cash. Like, never. You know what? I got a dollar. Mmm. And I found two nickels in the bathroom. I'm going to give him this dollar and two nickels. Because you know why? It's not my business to know why he's standing there. It's not my business to judge him. He's asking for money. Obviously, he needed for something, whether it's drugs, a beer, soda, pampers, diapers, toilet paper, so he could wipe his business. That's not my concern. You see what I'm saying? What he's out there doing has nothing to do with me. And if I don't want to give him money, I don't have to. Lesson. But since I got the dollar and the two nickels, he can have it. I'm going in and get some ice and use the bathroom. Child, I've been trying to do stuff all day. I ain't do nothing. So listen, listen, listen. I I got out the car to go get me some some ice that's melting. And remember, I told you about the guy. So I walked up to him. I said, "What you out here doing? Asking for money?" He was like, "It's just hard out here. You know, I'm just you know just trying to survive, trying to get a room." You know, for the night, blah, 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 just trying to, I could really use a hundred dollars. I wonder if that was his way of saying. You got a hundred? No, I do not. <laughs> and don't. But I got this dollar and I said, and a job? He was like, well, I'm waiting for my social security card to come out. Like, mm -hmm. I said, I'll give you this dollar. That's what I got for you. He was like, oh. okay, thank you, sis. Thank you, sis. I said, my, your life is not for me to judge. Keep your head up and keep grinding period. Did I pass judgment on him? No. Just because he is out there panhandling, who am I to judge? Because sometimes I feel like certain parts of the month, I feel like I need to go out there and do that. Yes, even living in a car. Yes. Yes, I live in a car. Oh my God. You know, people pass judgment so quick, but then you ain't paid our bill last week. You not paying your child support or your daddy not spending time with you or your mama not spending time with you, but you have so much to say about the lives of others. Is your life that perfect? You do everything right. Nothing ever goes wrong. People always treat you the bomb. You treat other people the bomb. No, the way many of you pass judgment on me, your life is not that perfect. I don't know anybody who has a perfect life. And even if you got a whole lot of money, life still ain't perfect. You know how many people are committing suicide because their families don't accept them for their choices or their uh, sexual preferences? How many children uh, kill themselves or people in general? How many people kill themselves and you don't know why they killed themselves because something went wrong that one time? And this too shall pass. And if your family is not accepting you, that's their loss because they missing all the love and all that stuff they could be getting from you or giving you because you are not living your life the way that they expect you to live it then they want to pass judgment criticize you curse you out kick you out whatever yeah i did kick my son out but that was because he wasn't listening to the rules not because of his lifestyle you want to be in the house you still gotta abide by these rules i'm not gonna have anybody walk over me either <sighs> It just kills me how some people want to judge. Oh, you're a teacher. You're a teacher. You're this. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Why? Why? If I'm not hurting anybody, why? 
What makes me so different, so special than the other thousands and thousands of people who do car living, RV living, tractor trailer living, doghouse living, living on the street living? What makes me so special? Nothing. It's just something I chose to do. I wanted to try it. I want to travel. Have I got an opportunity to do that yet? No. But I hope so. But I will. I'll do little things. So now this is the first step. Baby steps. Baby steps. Would I love to have a little, you know, Ford Transit Connect, whatever you call those things. A little, a little one. Then I was like, oh, I could convert a little schoolie. Okay. Got to get my money right for that. Got to get my money right. Got to get my money right. So until then, I'll enjoy my car kitchen. The car kitchen, honey. My, my meal's good. No little car kitchen gonna stop this show, honey. Car living's not gonna stop this show. You know, I make everything good and do, baby. So, I hope that answered some of your questions. Stop judging people. Just because they are doing something that you would not do, then you wanna be like, oh, you stupid, oh, you crazy. Why would you do that? Why? Because I want to, and I can. You don't pay my bills. You don't put gas in this car. You don't clean and vacuum my car because, you know, it does need vac vacuuming. I'm going to get to that because I went to the beach and I slept on the beach. I did. Yes, I did. So, little baby steps. Baby. Baby steps. B -b 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 baby steps. And I'll be nice and cozy up here. And the other thing was to get rid of things. Just things. <laughs> I got rid of a lot of things, but, ooh, well, this is a good look. How you doing? <laughs> My name is Shantae. What's yours? Ooh, look at my neck. I still have storage with a lot of things. <laughs> baby steps, baby. Baby steps, okay? <laughs> but then I was thinking about it. I don't even use half that stuff in there. I go in there for my clothes. Shoes, to look for little odds and ends. Little things here and there. But none of that stuff I haven't touched. But that does not mean I won't change my mind later and get a place. If that's how I'm feeling. Or if my girls get a place, then their place will be cute because I'll just give them all that stuff. So anyway, y'all got to, I'm not saying all of you, but some people, just some people, you really need to think before you try to pass judgment on somebody or say, why would you live your life like that? Because I can. Why do some people live on the street? Because they can. And it's a choice because, honey, there are a lot of places out there that'll help. Why I got, why my hair is looking like this under the hat? Because it is. It is. That's why I got that hat on, though, for real, y'all. Let me tuck this back up. Because it is, why isn't my hair done? Because I didn't feel like it? Is that okay? Why well, I still don't have these papers graded that I need to have graded. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. Okay, with that said, I hope that makes sense. And so my life doesn't have to make sense to you. It, it doesn't. It doesn't need to make sense. Now, if you ask me like, hey, what made you decide to do that? That's a question. You could go back and look at a video and maybe here and there, I'll talk about it again, just in case people don't want to go through old videos or I'll make an attachment, you know, or I don't know, you know, send you a link or whatever. But here and there, I'll mention again why I chose to do car living. So part of it is I wanted to get rid of things. It just things, our lives are so bogged down with things. And I was just ready to unload a lot of it. I did unload a lot but I still have a storage facility with a lot of stuff. And another thing was um, to try to save money, <laughs> which isn't quite happening, you know? Uh, because I have a lot of 
expenses and my kids and uh just life you know so i could just say i could get a paycheck now now and it's gone it's gone like that just from health insurance car insurance car note phone bill this bill that bill so it's gone i still have expenses my expenses didn't go anywhere i still need car insurance for several cars um it's, it's just things it's just very thing and another thing someone taught me it was a valuable lesson um they were driving a fancy car and I said, I know you're not broke or something with driving this fancy car. She said, but you don't know my bills. Maybe she's driving that fancy car because that's where she has chosen to spend her money. And that's her right. Who am I to spend somebody else's money and add up what they have? Just because I, I live in a car, ma'am, ma'am, she backing up. Just because I live in a car doesn't mean I don't have bills. Just because I live in a car does not mean it makes me less of a person. Just because I live in a car doesn't make me a bad person. Just because I live in my car doesn't make me less of a person with no feelings. It doesn't make me less than you. It doesn't make you better than me. Why? Why, Why does it make you better? Because you live in a house? Because that's what you've been doing or an apartment? Because that's what you've been doing and known all your life? Well, I decided to step outside of my comfort zone and try this. Would I like a little, you know, van or something? Little Ford Connect, one of those things, or cute, cute, cute little schoolie? Yes. But at this juncture in my life, A, I can't afford that. And I wanted to experience this lifestyle first before I invested in something big and gigantic. So, I could park anywhere I want. That doesn't mean somebody's not going to be trying to get inside my car, though. You got to go back and watch that video. So, it's getting hot up in here. I'm going to take my tail up in Starbucks. I never made it to the library. That was my goal all day. Anyway, I don't know what I was. I think I was making videos, and that's what I do. So it wasn't unproductive, but it wasn't a productive that I had planned. And my life usually never goes as planned, and nor will yours. Because the plans that you may have may not be the plans that he has. All right, amen. Shabba na 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 na. All right, let me go in here, Let me see if I can focus for two hours, put some grades in, but I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in and start editing a video. That, that, joy. Okay, do two classes, Joy. Knock out two classes, and then you treat yourself with editing a video. Boom, that'll be the treat. Okay, how about that? Okay, deal, the pinky deal, pinky deal. I need my nails done, that's what I need, but they're not in the budget. Anyway, I'm going to call y'all back later. Maybe there's some more surprises waiting for me throughout the end of the day. Because I never know. Every day is like a present. Because I don't know what's going to happen. And when it happens, I let you guys know. Period. It's like little gifts. What's going to happen in Basil's world today? Because let me tell you, it is never a dull moment. Never. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Don't judge people. You haven't walked in their shoes. You don't know their story. You don't know why they're doing what they do. They're doing it because they want to, they have to, they need to, they got to, they're forced to. But they're doing what they got to do to survive or to try something new. Just like if somebody's in a poly relationship, that's their business. Do I want to do it? No. But I'm like, go for yours. More love to go around. If that's how it works for y'all, who am I to judge other people? And if I'm a churchy, churchy person, that's not churchy. You shouldn't judge other people for their choices that they make. That's them, especially if they're not hurting anyone. You know, you're hurting somebody, mm, you know. But if you're not hurting anyone, that's your business. If you choose to be gay, if you choose to be floating around with butterflies in your head, that's your business. It has nothing to do with me. And all these parents, not everybody, or a lot of parents out there who don't want to love and accept their children for who they are because that's their lifestyle, because they're not living a lifestyle that you expect them to live, then you ready to cast them to the curb and they're not hurting anybody. Somebody told me that they don't have a problem with gay people. I, see how this conversation going off to, to the left, to the left? Uh, they don't have a problem with gay people, but they their child won't be gay. Make that make sense. 
you're going to force your expectations on your child if that's not who they are or who they become or what they enjoy you, that's just like saying your child is a is is a gifted artist and you're like no my child will not be an artist you see what I'm saying? So now you're going to force them to do something else or another career where they're not fulfilled. And they're doing it because they want to please you. And they're hurting and they're, they're hurt inside. Crying inside because it's not what they want. And what they want may not be what you want. You have to allow people to be them. See, and if you're not controlling the situation, then you got a problem with it. Every situation is not meant for you to control. It's not. And then when you can't control it, then you're frustrated. The only person you can control is you. Even if you're if it's your children. Now, once you become an adult and you and you under my house and my rules, if you don't want to live like that, then get out. Live the way that you want to live under your roof. That's how I feel with children. I can't control you, but you got to abide by the rules. Just like there are laws in, in, in the world, there are laws in the house. And me saying you have to be a certain way, absolutely not. No, I, I would never, one of my kids came home and said they're gay or said they love unicorns, they want to be with a unicorn. Okay, be classy with it. Because that's, how, that's what's going to make you happy. Is it making sense? Stop getting upset over things you have no control over. You have to become a little open-minded. And if it doesn't affect you and no one is doing it to you, you have to allow people to be who they are. And people will always reveal who they are. Sometimes I just sit back and watch. I'll wait. Even my last relationship, I was like, in the beginning, you know, honeymoon stay, I was like, this is too good to be true. I said, I, I, once I said, okay, we can be together, I said, I'll wait because the truth will always come to the light. I will wait. And then something happened and I saw a totally different, and it may have taken a year, and I saw a totally different side. I was like, ah, there you are. I knew it. I knew it. The truth will always be revealed, honey. Yep. Period. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I, I was ranting, y'all. But I'm just so tired of people judging other people because they're different. Or because they choose to do things that you wouldn't do. Okay, maybe it's thank God you wouldn't do it. Just do what you do. And don't worry about or oh, pass judgment on somebody who decides to fit their square body in a circular shape. Ooh, a square body? I don't know if that's cute. But anyway, work with what you got, honey. Just work it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm built like a tree trunk. I don't got no curves, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I love you. Have a great day, great evening on purpose. And when I say make it intentional, it means set your intentions for today that you're gonna have a good day. Don't allow anyone to take you off your square. Don't allow anyone to change the trajectory of your day. And I decide every day that I'm going to have a good day. And if the energy that's flowing around me is an energy that's in alignment with my spirit, I'm out of there. Why? Because I have a choice. I can only control me. I can't control the other dark spirits, but I control the spirits that I allow in my space. Have a great day on purpose and make it intentional. Bye, y'all.